I'm jumping inside. Okay, specimen screamer. What is this? Why he's kind of scary, dude. Oh my goodness, more peeps. No. Just from this simple only one event, it's already better than entire season one. Hey, yo, yo, guys, it is me, Happy Cyrus, and welcome back to Last Dinner Survival. So finally, season two is now fully, fully out. And we can see here the diary, we can see the tasks, and we can see all of the other cool stuff. So I'm just super, super excited. Wait, so we have to do all of those uh, daily tasks update in one hour. What? Okay, so there are daily tasks. I didn't even know this. Wow, wow, wow. And there are plus some weekly tasks. Okay, I'm just super excited about everything. So from all the things that I've heard, you told me that there will be a lot of and a lot of events spawning outside. And also you told me that uh, this season two has really reasonable tasks. They don't have like kind of really lame tasks like visit zone like 100 times like last time. Even though rewards you said that aren't super the best, but tasks are pretty cool. So I'm just happy that at least tasks are fun. And you told me that the story in the season two is really amazing as well. So I'm just excited to check out the story and hopefully some sort of an event is gonna spawn outside because I try to stay away from spoilers as much as possible just for you guys. So smash the like button on the video and we just got an event. Wait, is that chopper event? Yeah, this is going to be like not the chopper event, but the revenge raid. But today, maybe we're gonna go there. Maybe we won't. So let's go to this uh, Barker's camp. I believe this is going to be the most important place. I know nothing about season two. As I said, try to stay away from spoilers as much as possible. Okay, so let's check it out. Okay, so what is going on? We just spawned here already. Zombies are coming in. You know what? Maybe I shouldn't waste my my stuff here. You know what? I am just gonna wait here a little bit. I'm not gonna be a big dumb dumb. Uh, okay, so I already can see peeps here with the uh, Kevlar set. That is nice. Look at this. Didn't even have to do anything. Hopefully, he's not gonna start shooting me. Is this Barker? I've heard about him, but okay, this is not going to be Barker. Okay, so there is a new whatever thingy. Okay, I love it. And there is this, the infected uh, specimen that we are gonna get at the very end. Okay, are you going to stand there or come to me? I'm already coming to you, dude. What? Okay, there is the chopper. Most likely this is going to be the chopper that we get uh, from the free-to-play side. Why am I looting this chopper? Like, that's the question. Why did I even loot it? Okay, there's a little bit of gasoline. Maybe we're gonna take it. Maybe we won't. So what do I do with him? Just look at this. At what? I'm looking at the infected specimen. What is going on? Like, how do I get the tasks? And that's just the result of the first experiment. Imagine how much we could achieve. Okay, dude, I don't really care about that. Collect all the parts and we will assemble a perfect weapon. So wait, I just got some sort of a reward? Oh, okay, so we're gonna get here some notes and I believe that we are gonna read them. You know what? These notes aren't that long and in last on earth we don't read that much so i think we're gonna get we're gonna dive into the story today the locals say that they saw soldiers in the forest not far from the wall it's not clear how many of them there are but it seems that there are scientists in the group as well something really weird is going on and i have to figure it out oh so probably the first note was when we came here to the barker's camp okay so now the note too the soldiers turned out to be deserters but not simple ones they got into a beef with the hq and eventually they left i don't know the reasons their leader is some bar Barker. He's a good man, but weird. Just like me. <laughs> He's assembling some stuff and says it will help destroy cocoons and he needs my help. So do it. Uh, the story here is kind of cool and I'm glad that we are reading it. Find the missing parts. What? Parts, dude. Explain to me. What kind of parts am I supposed to find? Season two. Where are the tasks? The find missing parts. Where do I find them? Did you give me in my backpack? No. Okay. That's not in my inbox as well. Am I missing something? Probably it's in the diary. <laughs> Okay, so maybe I just have to get outside and an event is gonna spawn, so... I'm not sure about any of these events, but this is so awesome. And from all the things that I've heard, uh, the season two is really great. And most likely another event now is going to spawn. Yes, and these survivors are sending out a distress signal. So we are gonna go to this camp. But first of all, let's just get back to the base to get some more guns. I mean, let's just do the snap transition. So here we go, I'm back and I took some guns and even though I try to stay away from spoilers as much as possible, some of you told me that there is going to be Cramp and he's like really, really strong and stuff like this. So maybe Cramp is going to be here. I honestly do not know where we're gonna find him. So I took a little bit of guns, but if this is going to be Cramp or like stronger boss, we most likely will have to exit and uh, go get more guns. But hopefully this is what I have here is going to be enough. I'm just excited what is going on. Okay, so there is a dude chopping down trees. Oh, this is dumb, dude. This is dumb, what's up, man? Uh, oh, I'm happy to okay so he's happy that someone saw uh, faster they're already near i can help just okay that's way too fast i cannot read that fast i just wasted my first AK. okay so i don't think i'm gonna you know what take this broken ak okay he can't take it take the broken ak dude and go fight at least a little bit so what are the other dudes here okay there is another one okay whatever tainted zombie we're just gonna deal with them most likely i'm just gonna deal with them alone i don't think it's really that hard i mean not a big deal did they drop anything okay so we got some some of those infected eyes and i believe with those infected eyes we will be able to infect our weapons our cleavers and 
other stuff. Would love to check it out, so probably that's what we are gonna do. Hopefully, I took enough weapons, and hopefully that will be enough. Okay, so another tainted zombie. Gonna help them as much as possible. Gonna pick up all of these eyes. Okay, more, more, and stronger zombies. So I just want to say that already season two is better, just with only this one event, right? I do know that there are more events, at least. I hope that there are more events, but just from this simple only one event, it's already better than entire season one. So imagine how bad season one was and how season two is really, <laughs> really good. But I don't know, I'm just excited whatever more dudes there up the top. I'm trying to pick up. Okay, so Tainted Bloater, okay. So some people weren't happy that let's say that these are reused textures or something. And what I just want to say is that I'm happy that we got something. I'm happy that we got new content. It's literally super fun. New event is always better than nothing. I'm just excited about season two. And I believe that a lot of players are happy as well. From what I've seen, a lot of them were happy. Thanks uh, for the help. Wish all the guys would have survived. So I think they died because not because I didn't help them. I think they just died for the story because I don't know. I killed all of the zombies. How was I supposed to protect them? How was I supposed to do this? Whatever they all that's it. This is all I had to do. You don't give me any more rewards. Okay, so we're just gonna roam around here quickly. Maybe gonna exit and I'm just interested if another event is going to spawn right now. Kind of sad that these dudes died, but I mean, I don't know if I could have done something if I could have saved them or no, but in any case, it's definitely pretty, pretty interesting. Okay, so I talked to Tom. Is something gonna happen? Okay, keep that broken AK. Nobody cares about it. That's it. I have to exit the place or maybe I have to stay with him. Okay, so he just looks at me. What am I supposed to do for you? Like maybe take this hatchet or something. I don't really know what can I do with you, Tom. You're just looking at me or whatever. I think we're gonna exit this place. Hopefully I didn't fail here and I just don't understand why we didn't get a third note. I'm not sure how those notes are supposed to work. Did I fail? I don't know, something tells me that I have failed and I'll have to wait another hour for the event to respawn. Uh, this is, I don't know, I hope that this did not happen. Okay, so more dudes. Okay, so somebody spawned in. So there is uh, now the dude with the whatever uh, Sector 7 set. They're checking out the bike. Dude, what are you doing with that bike? It's just a simple bike. Where is the Barker or whatever his name is? At least that's what they said. Okay, this is the Barker. Do I go and talk to him? Find the missing parts. Which parts, dude? Okay, so wait, I, this is... Oh, we have to repair their laboratory. That's what we are gonna do. You know what? Let's just get back over here. So I'm back here at the Barker's camp with all the required ingredients. And I've just been thinking now that this is so awesome. I don't think we've had anything as interesting as this till season two. So I don't know. I'm just happy. Maybe rewards aren't gonna be the best. I still don't know about the rewards. We're gonna judge that after. But so far, it's just perfect. Here we go. We repaired it. Hendrix is full. He can't see the full picture. Okay. Uh, I've had finished the work. Everyone would have been saved. Oh, if he fi finished the work. Uh, but the only thing of how to cover their back. New quest. Note the diary. Get my people back from the base. Then we'll talk. So now we're gonna be saving up. So <laughs> this is so awesome. <laughs> okay, let's check this out and open the recipes. Okay, so five, 10 eyes for the infected machete, but I don't have that many eyes. I have only five and I didn't take the cleaver, so I thought I will be able to go and get it and still don't have enough stuff. You know what? Wait, wait, wait. How much damage does the infected machete do? Okay, it doesn't even show. So now we're going to be saving some other dudes and I just want to say so far 10 out of 10 season two, like I don't care what anybody else thinks, but this is so awesome. Like I still haven't done everything, but from the positive response from people said it's amazing. Okay, so still 20 days, there's going to be this base and I believe that now we're going to prepare more stuff. I don't know, for some reason I feel like this is going to be something huge and I think we're just gonna take more guns and always it's better to take more stuff than come there empty-handed. So I'm totally prepared to go to this base or whatever that is and I took even two extra hatchets, maybe should have taken C4 or something, I'm not sure what this base is going to be and what is this even at all, but you have no idea how excited I am, like we haven't gotten these such events for like forever, like We've never gotten the, this cool stuff. I'm just super excited. Like, okay, what's going on? There's going to be a dead guy. Wait, do I talk? Uh, don't trust anyone. Okay. Are you going to say anything else? He's just dead. Okay, dude. Okay. That's sad. Rest in peace, mate. Did he have anything? Okay, a broken Glock. Okay, doke. He's super excited. <laughs> I can't. So this was probably the sneak peek that they showed before, like from this side, like uh, the camera angle was really low and we could have seen the cocoon. So do I destroy the cocoon or what's going on? Okay, so I get a little bit of damage. Maybe I should have taken here a gas mask or something just to check it out. But I don't know. How am I going to get through this? How do I get inside? What is going on? I love this. I love everything. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. Okay, so there's the cool new chopper. Okay, so we're going to deal with this tainted zombie. Okay, let's deal with the cocoon. Is it gonna explode or something? Yeah, cocoon just exploded and everything it got destroyed into smithereens. Oh, that's it. It was pretty easy. Okay, so the cocoon was really easy peasy and we have a little bit of weapons have here a broken AK. So uh, I'm not sure if this event is going to be really hard, but so far everything here looks really destroyed, but... I 
Don't know, dude. I'm just excited. I just, I, I don't know. Like, it's so interesting. Like, we haven't had anything interesting as this. Like, these entire two events were better than probably the last uh, year entire <laughs> updates. Oh my god, this is so cool. Like, this is so cool. Okay, this dude dropped another eye. Definitely gonna take it. Want to check out uh, what will that infected machete do? Uh, okay, what we're gonna get over here? Okay, tainted uh, bloater. Let's deal with this bad boy. Should have destroyed the cocoons. I don't know. For some reason, I feel like we could go and destroy the cocoons. I forgot to upgrade all of my AKs. I'm such a noob, such a huge noob. Thought that I'll upgrade. Thought that I upgraded them, but nope, I did not. Okay, so there is another dude. Will I be able to save him? Okay, new quest note in the diary. I'm Salt, and who are you? Okay, what's up, Salt? Uh, do you uh, work for Barker? I mean, Barker works for me. No, I actually do work for Barker. And is there anything inside? Oh wait, are we gonna go down there? Uh, stay away from him. He's nuts. Okay, so we have to stay away from Barker. But whatever. Uh, what do I talk to the soldier uh, i'm just in time we're almost out of ammo okay so i have to give him one bandage but i've got nothing do i have any bandages in my inbox well i had a little bit of bandages in the inbox let's give that i got some more diaries if you want to know what uh, we all face get down to the basement okay so first of all i just want to check out more notes oh my god so many notes already note three barker said that his people and he had left to the hq to keep on researching the object charlie he said that some colonel hendrix had ordered to stop the work although it was almost finished barker suspects that hendrix has personal matters he may want to finish the research himself. Barker sent me to one of the labs that Hendrix had ordered to close down. It isn't hard to figure out that there was no closing down. Instead of that, Barker's people kept on researching the cells, but it's been two days, there is no connection with them. They may have had guests from the HQ. Something terrible has happened in the lab. The tracks are like those of the Wave of the Dead. But what are they doing here? Barker's guys managed to fight back, but some of them died. They say that Salt, a bioengineer, might have barricaded in one of the rooms. He's responsible for the research. I have to get him out and find out what has happened. Salt said that when they came, everyone had been already dead. He managed to find out that the preventative gateway was damaged. That's why particles from Charlie Corpse had got into the outside environment. This attracted the dead. They must have instinctively thought that there was a cocoon here. I'll try to clean up here. Okay, so most likely I should have read the events as soon as I got in them, and we are just gonna jump down there. Uh, my AKs aren't upgraded. Well, we're gonna probably survive without upgraded AKs. Hopefully there is no whatever huge dude right now. I think we're just gonna jump inside. If I die there, well, we're gonna come back with more armor. It's not gonna be a big deal. Infected base, three skulls, so most likely we're gonna get destroyed. Okay, these nodes are kind of cool, and we are in the basement. What is this cocoon, dude? Are you kidding me? Yeah, most likely we're just gonna destroy the cocoon over here. Okay, it just exploded. Don't even want to know how much damage would that cocoon do if it exploded in my face. Uh, I have enough of everything. Okay, let's just get over here. We're gonna open up the door, dude. Super excited. Super, super excited. Okay, let's deal now with this tainted zombie with another tainted bloater. Give me the eye. Yes, indeed. You're gonna drop the eye. Some computers over here. What if I type in, I think, blah, blah, blah. You should have understood. I'm sorry. Okay, guys. So I believe that this is going to be the... Is this the boss? What is this boss? Will these guns be enough? I don't know. I'm afraid. I don't know. From what I've seen, I've seen a couple of screenshots. And I do know that there is going to be the huge boss inside your room. Maybe here, maybe not. I'm jumping inside. I'm jumping inside. Okay, specimen screamer. What is this? Why? He's kind of scary, dude. Oh my goodness, more peeps. No. How much damage is he going to do? Uh oh, uh oh. Okay, so I kind of survived. We are going to just uh, destroy the dude. No, 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 no. Why did they? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. We're going to kind of. Uh, oh, I'm dead. Obviously, I'm dead. Obviously, I'm kind of dead. Uh, not surprised at all. Not surprised at all. Okay, so everything is fine. Take one. Nothing has happened. Everything was calculated. I just died there for the sake of edutainment to know what's gonna happen and that base stays there for like 20 days. So I believe we will be able to still do it all the time. I just hope that my body did not disappear from there. Otherwise I might have lost my military, not even military, the tactical backpack because right now I took care of my military backpack. Didn't take too many items just because I hope I will be able to retrieve all of the stuff from that base and I don't know. I'm not surprised that I died. I've heard some people saying, sorry, I can't wait until you'll die there. And I mean, that's what happened, I guess. So I'm not surprised. Okay, so the dude just escaped. Yeah, I'm just gonna go back. Okay, why he's following me? Oh, he, the dude is just following me. But why he didn't go inside with me into that basement? Why am I supposed to go there alone? What a schmuck. What a doodle. Well, whatever. Hopefully these AKs are gonna be enough. Probably should have done a more damage quicker. I don't know what I have here. These AKs. Oh, my body is here. Developers, thank you for putting it over here, developers. <laughs> ah, so nice. We're gonna equip this thing. Gonna equip my backpack. Gonna take the rest of the stuff. And uh, probably we're gonna take some of those other... I should take everything. Like, I, I, it's not even a question here. You know what? We're gonna leave this kind of garbage over here. You might call me psych. Is this garbage? It's not really garbage. We'll take it uh, later when I'll need it. 
right now gonna take here a couple of VSSs, so I guess we'll have enough that tries. So this is so cool, the developers put our body over here, that means even if you die, you will be able to retrieve your stuff, so that is awesome, that is cool, that's what I respect about that. So now we're gonna take the AK, and I think we're just gonna shred the dude super quickly, like that's gonna hold my AK. Why can't I do damage quicker? What kind of weapon could I get to do the damage quicker? Okay, oh no, 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 okay, so... Go on, go on, shred the fetid corpse, dude. Okay, we're gonna just do this. Gonna escape. Gonna spit on this. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna die here right now. And once again, got in the corner. So the trick is don't get in the corner. It's so fun, though. So we're back over here. So let's just da run downstairs. And hopefully my stuff is still over there. If my stuff is gonna be here, then this is seriously super, super amazing. We can try however many times you want. People don't get... It's amazing. It's amazing. Like, hopefully developers put it on purpose. And it's not some sort of a bug. And they're like, oh, damn. Wish we put uh, their body inside. But this is so awesome. This way you can keep trying. You're not gonna get frustrated if you die. Like, yeah, maybe you're gonna lose some weapons. But you don't lose everything. This is so beautiful. Zero frustration. Right now, for me, I have zero frustration. I just have excitement. Amazing update. Thanks goodness. Hopefully more updates are gonna come like that in the future. Hopefully developers are learning. This is just perfect. Uh, whatever. We're gonna take now another VSS and I mean take two hopefully. And my armor is full. Everything is perfect. 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 10 out of 10. I'm super excited even though I'm dying. Super excited. We didn't get such a cool update in a in forever. Usually whenever we die you lose everything and Kefir is like ha ha ha. But here you die. Go try once again. Super beautiful. Okay. So we're gonna start probably. I should probably a do use AK over here. Uh, probably maybe I should take the self healing. Okay, so we, okay, he's gonna scream here, we're gonna do a little bit of more damage, gonna just run, 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 okay, we're gonna heal up, running, okay, so if he screams on me, I'm spamming my heal died again, ah! So we're back over here once again, let's equip our armor and hopefully this time it will be a bit, a bit better, and I have a bit different strategy. So I took here a flare gun. I don't think that I really, really need it. I don't think that I have to kill that. That whatever huge dude, the infected specimen or whatever his name is, just with one try, I think I have to wait a little bit. I think I have to let him scream twice and I have to dodge his scream. I have to be on a totally different side when he screams. But right now I'm just trying to go like brute force him, uh, try to do as much DPS as possible. And then maybe we're going to try fighting him on our free to play account in a couple of weeks or something. So here we go. This is going to be the dude. We're going to do like one... Uh, two, three, four, uh, five, gonna go to the other- I'm dead! Okay, so he screamed at us. That's all good. Okay, so- Okay, so probably we're gonna do like one, two, three right now. Obviously, he's gonna scream here once again. And now- I just failed at all. Like, uh, don't use- Okay, so running away! Oh my goodness, I still got screamed on! Spamming the heal button. How am I supposed to escape it, huh? Flare gun is garbage. Garbage! Okay, so this is my first try fighting that infected specimen or whatever his name is. And I believe that seriously, using that flare gun is super bad. Do not do it. Here we go. Gonna take these things. Gonna take some more first aid kits. And from what I think and what I believe is that I should not focus on fighting him so much. As soon as the dudes come out, I have to focus on whatever. I do have a self-healing skill, but I don't really want to use it because I don't think you have to win this thing only with self-healing skill. I believe that everybody can do this event pretty easily. The dude is pretty slow though, okay? Okay, so he punched me a little bit here guys stayed away from one scream now we're just gonna deal here with this fetid corpse though he screamed here once again we dealt with one fetid corpse there are some more dudes coming in now we're gonna do a little bit of damage for him here once again stayed there in the corner now we're gonna deal now with this uh, spitter now i have to again pay attention on when he's gonna scream can you attack please okay he screams once again stated is uh, fighting with the toxic spitter a lot of these dudes, a lot of shields. Uh, we're gonna fight this infected screamer. Oh my goodness, gonna scream. Died. Okay, so now let's just jump inside and let's do this. So, so far, the only drawback from this event that I can see is that we will have to use a lot of weapons here. But again, I cannot find any other idea how would they implement a skillful event if you don't have to use a lot of weapons because otherwise, if you have a lot of weapons, you'll be just able to jog through everything without even trying, so... I don't know, I, I like it so far, I seriously, I enjoy it a lot, I love it, like, I'm not gonna lie, I love it. So I guess take one, guys, first try, never tried before, fighting here the specimen a screamer. 
So here we go, we're gonna fight with him. I don't think we have to fight him in the... I don't even know how we are supposed to be fighting him. Like, I seriously... Okay, so he screams below 600, right? So I have to remember, he screams, first of all, below 600. And now we're gonna get out of here, scream by infected. Oh my goodness! Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, this is getting really, really tough. And we already used a couple of weapons here, but I still believe it's possible. And I still think it's super interesting. Like, I don't care that maybe it's a little bit expensive to do this event, but it's super fun. Like, I'm not gonna lie, it's fine. I just wanna find a proper strategy. Like, I know that I'm making here a mistake of fighting him super quickly. I have to focus on other dudes and not on him. I have to just... Whatever, there are some pillars. You know what? We're gonna fight it over here. So below 600, he's gonna scream for the first time. And even if he's gonna scream for the first time below 600, we don't care, right? So here we go. He screams. Cool. So he screamed for the first time now. We're gonna now deal... Okay, he screams for the second time for some reason. Okay, so we're gonna deal with this dude. Uh, I'm gonna run away from him. I healed up. Okay, another fetid corpse. Get out of my sight. Healed out once again. Maybe wasting a little bit of first aid kit. I have no idea. We have to go through here. Please don't scream on me. Please don't fight me too much. Okay, so he's gonna scream. I don't know if other dudes are gonna spawn though. Wait, I'll try to die deal here with a riot shielded zombie. Another riot shielded zombie. This dude have to pay attention now on where I will run. Okay, so guy. Okay, didn't get screamed on him. Uh, let's attack him here once again a little bit. And my weapons, I just broke here. We're gonna take this whatever AK. Still better than nothing. Toxic spewer, get out of my side. Here we go. Let's heal up. Uh, gonna heal up here once again. Okay, my uh, healing items are completely on the wrong side. Okay, now gonna heal out once again. Let's deal with that infected spewer. He's destroyed an exploder, right? We're gonna deal with the exploder. So, so far we dealt with him. I still believe that it depends on luck. I don't think it's only really that skillful here. It also depends when he's gonna scream or something, when you're gonna stay in the white. In oh, parasites! Whew! Got scared of those bad boys. So, there's a little bit luck involved, unless. Uh, I don't know. Like, I still did the same thing that I did last time, but here I was lucky enough to stand in whatever place. Like, I don't think that a lot of people are gonna deal with this infected, like, whatever dude. From the first time and rewards are cool i mean we're gonna get this biker magazine cool cool rewards are pretty okay maybe they could have given us guns back because again players are gonna be kind of sad about this that hey we lost a little bit of guns but i don't know rewards are definitely better than nothing than last season like that's for sure like this like uh, only like already these rewards rewards are better than we've had last season so there's one camera i don't care we're gonna leave it over here is there anything inside i'm kind of scared to come in because maybe the doors are gonna lock in on me but dude this is so beautiful I love the event so much. Like, call me crazy or not. Okay, well, I think we're gonna uh, delete this thing. I just don't want him to stay here anymore. But this is beautiful event. Like, I just have to say, very beautiful. I, 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 I don't know how to explain it. It's amazing. So many cool things that we've done over here. Do I have to talk to some of them? Because, I mean, we finished the event, right? We killed the other dude. Did I get... Oh, we got something in the diary. Okay, so let's read this. This beast turned out to be extremely creepy. It might be one experimental object with transplanted stem cells. It seems that there were a whole range of experiments here. I have to tell Barker about that when I come back to the camp. Yeah, so we're gonna definitely tell that to the Barker. That means we're gonna go, like, to the Barker right now. But uh, I wanna see if there is anything over here. By the looks of it, everything is destroyed. No things. Why this dude is following me? Can you please... Stop following me. I could just play and play. I just love it. Okay, so we got another strange things happen out here in the woods. The infection spreading too fast. What? Another event, dude. I'm just... What? I just ended one event. So we're gonna do now another event? So I believe that maybe let's go to the Barker. Let's tell him everything. And then we're gonna go to another event. Because I believe if I just go to the uh, to that other event, we're gonna get a note. And again, we're gonna start missing out on some story or whatever. So, Barker, Barker. Let me tell you everything that have happened here. Okay, somebody already died. Uh, I sh you should have killed him right away. Wait, did you just kill that uh, Hendrix or whatever? Uh, that Hendrix Snooper. Uh, they've been uh, gunning for me for a long time. But I've managed to crack him. And he gave me the others away. What? I'll mark the place on your map. New note in your diary. That's it, dude. This is what you seriously done. Uh, that seriously, Barker is definitely crazy. You can see that he has that Kevlar armor, and uh, oh boy, you can see that he is kind of crazy. When I came back to the camp, Salt was dead. Oh, that was Salt, not uh, the Hendrix, whatever. Barker had thought he was a traitor and killed him, but I'm sure Salt knew more than he managed to tell. It turns out only those lab workers that set off to get infected uh, tissue samples are alive, and Barker wants me to get them back to the camp. Damn, I don't like all of this. I totally agree, but at the same time, why am I even helping Barker? Like, I mean, he doesn't know me 
at all and I'm just a complete stranger. I'm coming here and helping Barker to do his stuff. I don't know. And we are still gonna do this. We may get another event. Seriously? Both event research area and another. Oh my goodness. How am I supposed to do all of this? Infected zone. I want to check out what we are gonna get here in the infected zone. Like this is so beautiful. Just wish these events stayed like a bit longer or something. I don't know. Maybe let's say they stayed like for entire 20 days unless we're gonna do this because right now like I'm forced to go to this infected zone. Otherwise it's gonna disappear and I'm not sure if it's gonna ever respawn. Hopefully this is not cramp. I didn't take enough guns to fight the cramp and I don't want to fight him right now. I took a little bit of guns. Maybe we're gonna survive. Like I'm, I'm not sure. We're not gonna survive anything. Okay, so let's deal with those tainted zombies. I have no idea what is this event, but again, I just want to do it. I want to check out if we're gonna get here anything. Plus we're doing some tasks already for the season two. Pretty good. Okay, let's deal with one, with another one. Uh, another one, another tainted zombie. That's a lot of guns. That's a lot of guns. Do I have to fight all of them or whatever? But again, I think they're counting as for a task. So we're going to deal with all of those tainted zombies. Probably shouldn't be wasting my VSSs for this. But hey, what am I? What else am I going to be saving them for? Okay, let's deal with those. Let's deal with those. Okay, this is going to be another cocoon. Obviously, we're going to deal with the cocoon super quickly. Bloop, just explode. Okay, that was a pretty huge cocoon. Okay, let's deal with those zombies here. Okay, more of them are coming in. Gonna take my AK, gonna shred them into tiny smithereens. I, what am I supposed to do here? Like, what is this event, honestly? Like, it's pretty big area. It looks like uh, the size of maybe an orange or maybe even red zone. It's pretty big, though. What, what? Do I have to keep fighting them all the time? Or... Okay, so there is an infected zombie. Let's take another eye. That's it? Did I deal with everything here? Did I just destroy that cocoon? Oh, did I get another diary note? I think I just did. Oh, no, I did not get anything. Was it just, like, some sort of event for the memes? Uh, I don't know. Like, we didn't get anything. Kind of sad when you finish the event and you don't get any rewards. Wish one of those zombies dropped at least something, like one steel plate or whatever. That would have been better. At least that's just my opinion. Every time we do an event, you should be rewarded because so far I didn't get anything. Like literally nothing beside those three eyes, which I think will get them in the other place, unless I'm missing something here. So I wish this event get little bit, gave a little bit of rewards, but whatever, still better than nothing. Still uh, awesome to get a event. Please tell me that, okay, not another event, nice. So we are probably gonna go to research area. I'm not sure if this is going to be the cramp though. I also heard that you can have now only 50 energy drinks. Some people had like 80 or something and a lot of their energy drinks disappeared. I think that maybe that's a bug, maybe that was intentional, maybe that's a feature, but I don't know, I wish that those energy drinks stayed and we can have only only 50 energy drinks, so if you have more, I don't think they're gonna add up. I don't know, but we came here just to be able to craft another weapon. Okay, so we can craft infected subblade mace, which I think is just gonna be garbage. Let's craft now. Oh, 15 minutes to craft! <coughs> Okay, so let's check it out. So 30 damage and speed 1.3. Isn't it the same? It basically machete. Wow, it looks dope though. Like I'm not gonna lie, it looks kind of cool. And it seriously still looks the same. I don't know. I don't see the difference between this, but hey, we're gonna still check it out. So we're gonna go now for the revenge raid because I do not want to do all of those events at once because what am I gonna do the, for the rest of the month then? And I just realized that probably those like events that spawn for one hour, they aren't gonna be like main events. They're gonna be like some sort of side events where you can maybe get like some of those eyes. But the rest of the events uh, that stay for 20 days or something they are really really important so we're just gonna do the raid here and i took here my infected machete just to check out how it is going to work so we're just gonna hop inside probably and we're gonna start chopping down a little bit of the walls here and there and we will see what kind of loot we'll get inside okay so i didn't mean to chop that down okay whatever let's chop down now the first chest and so far i love this season uh, season two like really really amazing i just completely love it like i'm not sure what about reward wise but again uh, rewards are in everything like all i know that the story here and just how interesting the tasks are, tasks are it's really important as well and so far it's like 10 out of 10 i don't think uh, last day on earth has ever been that interesting okay we do 45 damage dude we're doing 45 damage that's cool that's seriously awesome i do believe that it's worth it to all oh, the durability disappears quickly though i don't think it's worth infecting it though like i really don't think so i don't know like seriously we've chucked like through half of our machete right now so durability goes like probably 50 percent lower maybe durability durability is twice lower but we do more damage i really don't think that it's worth infecting your machetes here at least uh, i don't know i'm not sure if it's worth it or not it's up to you but again it's melee weapons and i don't think melee weapons are really that uh, awesome so i think it's just worth infecting them it's not gonna be a big deal even in my free-to-play account we have a lot of melee weapons and i don't even play there so okay here we're gonna get one engine part uh, definitely gonna take this let's deal now with another here wave of zombies yeah machete i mean it's kind of cool does 45 damage better than a katana i 
mean, almost as Katana, but Katana is a bit faster. And it's broken here. So, wow, it's it's a little bit sad. Seriously, it broke really quickly. Okay, whatever. So, this chest we looted. Okay, we got a little bit of leather. Let's definitely take that. Did I take leather? Did it fit? Yep, indeed. So, now let's jump down another chest. And hopefully, I'll be able to open up all of the chests before the big one spawns. Wouldn't be surprised if I just completely failed. And I am going to take all of the wirings because I need those wirings for that shrimp bike. And the only thing that I lack right now is probably wirings because i need 150 of those and i got nothing so hey can't wait to get that now let's fill up our chopper with a little bit of garbage from the raid yeah probably just gonna leave the stones in my chopper not a big deal yep here we go that looks better now let's get back inside of the base let's keep looting the rest of the chests and i'm just so excited to go and uh, check out other events here as well because so far it looks really awesome and uh, i don't know i think developers really done a great great job maybe like season two rewards aren't as amazing because that's i think the biggest drawback from people like that's the biggest complaint that people have but again, like the... Just the first couple of events that we've had, it's already seriously better than entire year of updates that developers have done. And that's a straight up fact. So in my opinion, this update is already great and I even haven't finished uh, the rest of it. So I can't say... I cannot even say how cool it is. But already just from the beginning and from the... Comparing to the things that we had in the past, I would already like rate this update like 9 out of 10. 10 out of 10 is gonna get ATV. But 9 out of 10, this update, I love it. Like, I love it. Seriously, I think that there is nothing better that they could have done while we are waiting for the season two. Wait, is that it? Did I chop down all of the chest for this for the season three? Because that's what I'm trying to say. While we are waiting for the season three, having this season two is really awesome. I think we opened everything and I didn't get much. Okay, so more wirings. That's it. We should got more wirings though. So we got six wirings and that's why this base gets Sarek's approval. So I'll suggest you checking out this untitled goose video or clicking on the second card and you will go to how I played LDOE with a controller. Or hop over to my channel, go to playlist and there you'll find a lot of other games that I've played here on the channel. And if you're not subscribed yet, definitely be sure to drop the subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. Also follow me on Twitter or Instagram and peace, peace, peace out. Mm -hmm. Yep.